An aspie teen may have a fully developed female body and no understanding of flirtation and nonverbal sexual cues, making her susceptible to harassment and even date rape. I have on numerous times been taken sexual advantage of. Now I excessively touch myself. Is that normal for an aspie to do after being sexually assaulted? How do I stop it? And how do I learn the nonverbal sexual cues? This is from Gabby. Oh, hi, Gabby. Again, many points in your your email, uh, not email, in your question. Um, date environment is very complex because you have got the art of flirtation, you've got a whole range of things that are going on, all the subtle cues of whether somebody likes you or don't like you, but also the subtle cues of whether they're a predator or not. And as much as at school you can get bullies and te bullying and te teasing, by predators in a social sense, you can also get sexual predators too. And those with Asperger's are not very good at character judgments and taking people as honest as they are. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a very good book about to be published by Leanne Holiday Willie by Jessica Kingsley Publishers. Now, her first book, Pretending to be Normal, was a very positive, almost sort of Pollyanna view of being an Asperger woman. She has now written a book which is much more accurate, and she's been in dangerous situations. That's due out for publication in a few months' time. Now, what Leanne does, to a certain extent, is make sure that whenever she is with someone who could be a person to become a partner, that she goes with them with a friend who's a neurotypical good at character judgments. And at the end of meeting that person for coffee or going for a film, and then say, what do you think of them? Would you trust them? So in other words, find someone, maybe a friend, maybe a relative, to just check them out that's got that streetwise knowledge. Mm -hmm. Also, if you go anywhere with that person, go to public places, somewhere where there are lots of people around and it's easy. If you're also concerned, carry a device that will raise an alarm in case you're in any dangerous situation. Mm -hmm. Now, the next one was really about excessively touching herself. Mm -hmm. And people touch themselves for a variety of reasons, masturbation. And that can be as a form of soothing. And if it helps that person relax and is soothing, then that's fine. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's then triggered by being sexually assaulted. People don't masturbate just because they've been sexually assaulted. Um, it's something that you may find is... Uh, a sense of relaxation and relief. If, if it helps you, that's fine. The only problem with Asperger's is not to do it to excess mm -hmm. and know when to and when not to. Mm -hmm. Now, the third part was how do you learn non-verbal sexual cues? Now, there are books available um, on non-verbal communication and those sorts of components, but it may be to contact, not knowing where you live, organizations that may be able to give you guidance in identifying the characteristics from someone who may not be friendly, whose intentions are actually malicious. Mm -hmm. now, that may be a clinical psychologist who can teach aspects of nonverbal communication. So can you read a few books on body language? Because sometimes the person with Asperger's focuses on what they say, not their character or their body language. Mm -hmm. 